Right guys, welcome back to the Hunter Collective and as you see, got Toby back. Now, he's back in after, what was it, four weeks? Yeah, four weeks. Four, four or so weeks now. So, um, as you know from the previous haircut, he was trying to grow it out. The last haircut that uh, he came in with was a little bit too low. So I actually removed a bit of length to kind of create more shape and more style for him to grow it out. But now we're four weeks in. And I mean, what, what, how are you finding it? No, I like it a lot. I like the style. Um, the only thing, obviously, is the weight. But yeah, do you um, find it's just gone too thick. Yeah, for sure. But Definitely. the only thing, my hair does that anyway. But, yeah. but the main thing was to get the style right. Yeah. Definitely. It definitely, from the last cut, got the right Did style. you find it was easier to style? Oh yeah, for 100%. Okay. Every time I styled it, all I needed to do was just blow dry and it just kind of fell into place. Really? Okay, yeah. so yeah, so you, you used, so like what we did on the style when you came in, just a bit of salt spray and whatnot and you just blow dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really good. Um, what have you found the problem areas are? What are, you, uh, what are you struggling with now? Because I know we're four weeks into growing a style out. You, you still want to grow it out a little bit longer. Yeah. Where, where is your problem area that we can try and sort out today? Because I can, obviously I can give you my advice, but where do you find that's difficult? Because I want to work with what's working for you as well. My hair kind of, it, it just falls naturally because it is quite thick. So all I'd say is just get the right style and it will just kind of work for itself. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it in my head because it's quite... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think I think it's just finding what works for you. But again, like you're saying, it's kind of you know it's growing out well. You're liking it. Mm -hmm. What What do you think about the back and sides on the length? Because remember last time we didn't remove any. We didn't. We just did a corner. Yeah. That was a bit and then too we. Long. It was almost like you did like a, a temple fade. Yeah. And that was nice. I, yeah. I thought that was really smart. I think it's grown out really well as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we've got this length on the back and sides. You're looking to lose any of the back and sides. What, what are you thinking? Because I think probably just tied it up. Yeah. Because obviously it's gone a bit. Yeah. So maybe we do the same things we did last time. Yeah. So maybe not. Maybe not down to zero because it might be a bit too extreme sure. for this one. Because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. more length. But Definitely. maybe if we don't like to make like one. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Again, the same kind of thing on the side bends, the neck, taper that in a bit. Um, what I'm thinking though as well um, is it's looking like it's got a lot of shape. But I'm just thinking through the back here now. It's got a bit thick and a bit mm -hmm. heavy here. Yeah. Just because we tried to preserve a bit of length through here, but it was so short. I remember the crown was quite short last time. This bit was short and everything had been pulled in. So why don't we move a bit of length through the back here? Yeah. And then just kind of break up the sides just to make it a bit easier for you to style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe take this corner of the fringe down a touch as well. Yeah, just because yeah, yeah. it's dropping, isn't it? You, no, no. Like you coming in like this is perfect because I can see how you've done it today. And I'm thinking it just seems to, this corner just seems to be taking it a bit now as well because it's just dropping a bit. Yeah. So we can help you with that. Because again, the overall length has grown out really well, but I think, yeah, the crown, just through the back here, just above the occipital bone at the back, just before the crown, it tends to be a lot on a lot of guys, the thickest point. Because you know, you never tend to lose the back and sides again. So it always tends to be thicker than the top most of the time anyway. Um, and obviously we, we thinned the top out from last time, so again, you're gonna start noticing the thickness coming through here, you know? So yeah, why don't we just maybe just tidy the back and sides up a little bit, put a bit of shape in it again, yeah. and then just taper in the edges and thin the top out so it's a bit easier for you Sounds as well. Good, yeah. Sound alright, yeah? Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah? Are you enjoying growing it? Yeah. It's right. been, the, yeah? Is it sure. been an easy process Can, when you get the right, the, when you find the end goal we were talking about, do you find it's an easier process to grow it when you know where you're going with it? Oh yeah, for sure. Look, yeah. When I was trying to grow it the other time, all the cuts was just on the, it was almost like, it was growing all in like this direction, that yeah. direction. Yeah. But now that it's actually cut properly, yeah. I can see it growing nicely, and that's I'm good. excited oh, for like how, how it's going. Oh, for sure. That's amazing. I'm, well, I'm, I'm made up to you. That, that's you're happy with growing it out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I think. Yeah, we'll just we'll just recap slightly, and we'll just take the back and sides and a touch just through here. Maybe just a bit of scissor over comb, just to kind of you know break it up and put a bit more shape into it. Take this bit down here because it's starting to get a little bit thick through the back. Natural, it's going to get thicker through here because it's just naturally thicker. And also, we couldn't really thin the back and sides that last time because it was so short. Um, but I'm just looking at it, it's starting to drop a little bit here, so I want to take any problem areas away from uh, Toby's hair at the moment because again, he's still. He's not at his ideal length. He's still he's loving the length. He's he, like you know you want to keep as much of it as you possibly can, don't you? So I want to cut away some problem areas for him, but again maintaining as much of the overall length as possible. So when we're talking about growing a haircut out, yeah, you do leave it. But if you get to something where Toby's growing this out from such a short length on the back and sides, and even supposed through here, if you look back from the previous video, you you when you can just grow it, and you know it's going to look a bit messy for a long time. But if you are looking to sign a smart up, so you've got a job interview or you've, you've got a night out or a wedding or anything like that 
there are ways to still maintain the growth in the haircut by just tidying bits up. So hopefully that's what I'm going to show you today. Is that if you are in the same stage as Toby, which I know I've got a lot of clients, they're in your position, mate. They're trying to grow it out. Hopefully I can give you some advice on what to ask for when you are in that growing process. So again, like looking at problem areas, things that you're struggling to style, um, or the areas you're struggling to style, should I say, uh, and the bits that are starting to get thicker and just just essentially annoy you and make you want to cut it short because that's we, we want to stay away from that. So if anything I can do to make Toby's hair grow grow in more shape and actually be able to him to style as well without getting annoyed, that's what I'm trying to do today. So yeah. I think that sounds like a good plan, mate. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Sound. I'm, I'm loving the way it's going out, though, man. It's going out. It's still got a lot of shape in it. You did it, mate. Cool. Man, nah, man. It's <laughs> teamwork here, mate. It's <laughs> your head, my, my, well, your head, my scissors, so you know. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a shampoo, uh, and then we'll we'll start in with the back and sides, and we'll do very similar things we did last time. Alright, mate. Okay. Cool. Right. So we've just um, just finished washing the um, condition Toby's hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section it off into a U-shaped part, because I'm, again, I'm trying to reserve a lot of the length on the top. We're trying to grow this all out. And I just want to start to see how the back and sides are falling as well, so I can start to thin this out. And then just cut a little bit more shape into it as well. So just, well, you, you hear the term layer and things like that, but everything we do is a layer. But what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to work in through here, taking this part here shorter. So I just want to start seeing what the length is like. So by putting my U-shaped part on it, it just helps me to take away the top and focus purely just on the back and side. So, Toby, how did you how did you find style in your hair in the morning? How long did it take you to style? So, what I do personally, I just wet it. Yeah. Get the blow dry, and I use you know the I don't know what's called the um, thing on the end of the the nozzle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just kind of weave it through to kind of get the style. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, get a bit of uh, salt spray on it, yeah. and it really only takes about. So you'd think because my hair is so thick that it would take a long time, yeah, but yeah. it really only takes about two to three minutes to get. So you're it not perfect. struggling to style it. No. no. Okay, that's cool. Whereas beforehand, before you cut it, I was definitely struggling a lot more. Yeah, because it's a lot more the shape. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Mate. And okay. I had to use more product to like justify the bits that yeah. weren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To sit it in the way you want to sit it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the only reason I ask is because obviously when you're growing your hair out, a lot of the time it's, it's you struggle to style it. You get, you get, they, everyone has a good and a bad hair day. You know? I, 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 I was the same up until I got my hair cut like <laughs> this week, you know. I was struggling with it, like on the, through the week, you know, doing the, the school and things like that. It was just, it was just, I was just trying to cap on. Yeah. Um, and that was, the, at that point is where people break. Now, I wasn't growing my hair out, so I did break, but I wasn't growing mine out. But at that point when it starts becoming hard to style and everyone starts to, um and all whether to shave it off and all go back to what they had. So I'm just glad that you still found it was okay to style. So I, I'm just, in for my own judgment of what I did last time, I'm making sure that we did the yeah. right thing by you being able to style it as well. So that's good to know that you did that. It hasn't too. got it hasn't got ridiculously hard in the slightest. If anything, it's got. Could you have not come back today? Yeah, easily. There we go. It's actually getting to a point where like I'm I, I was. I knew I had the car. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I didn't need it. Not yeah, at yeah. All. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. So yeah, no, that, I always ask that because it's, you know it, it's good for for any of the viewers who are in that point. You know, if they are going the hair out and it's getting to that point where they're struggling, it could be a good time to book in to get that to get that trim. So the, the trim we're doing today, um, like Toby said, I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is make Toby's hair look fresh today. That's, all, that's basically what I'm gonna do. Just make it look like you've had a fresh haircut, even though we're growing it out. Yeah. So if you are getting to a point, anyone watching, if anyone is getting to a point where they are at that, you know, wanting to just go back to the original style, they're giving up on this this new look they want to go for. That's your time to go and see to, to go and see your barber and just tell them and just be, be honest and say, look. This bit's doing me in. Can't do this. I can't seem to find the right style. And then that way, you know, working together is a way you're going to get that 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 finished look that you want to go for. Even if it is just thinning the hair out. You know, you might think it's a really pointless appointment. You might think I didn't really need to spend that money on a haircut. I didn't really need to do them. But trust me, little touches make a massive difference in the overall look and the overall finish of when you are growing a haircut out. Because everyone gets to that point where they want to go short. Um, so if you can. Hopefully this will help you here yeah, today to, to understand that you can just pop in and just even just get a little bit tidied up just to make it a bit easier to style, you know? So now, as you can see, this is starting to grow out through here. 
So I wanted that a little bit shorter, just because it, it's just kind of this is this is a bit of a pointless length through here because we're not we're not growing this bit out, but this is the bit that balances the head at the back, especially towards the crown. So I can get away with going a bit shorter on this, and it will still maintain that nice silhouette through the side here as well. So we can get away with going shorter. It won't make a massive difference this overall look. To be honest, if I didn't tell you I was doing it, or to Toby, if I didn't tell you I was doing it, you wouldn't know. But for me, I know this can go into the shorts and that will make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to do a little bit of, um, just, a, just a slight trim, just to kind of balance this haircut through. Just through this little area here, just to take this a little bit shorter. I think we can get away with going a bit shorter here. Just to give it a little bit more longevity to the growing out face. Just elevating the hair up as well, so when it falls you're still keeping a bit of length in there. If I was to pull it straight out, it would cut it blunt like that, whereas if you elevate it slightly, it still lies nicely on top of the next section underneath. And I'm just going to brush over the rest of this, because I'm going to be doing that to a one through the edges here anyway. I'm just going to brush this over, just taking that down a little bit. Using my guide from there, lifting it up, cut it through. Again, nice small sections, because we're going shorter. Starting to sit a little bit nicer through there now as well. And we can continue this all the way around to the side, just through to here, and then I'll work on the uh, the nice taper into the one then as well. Hello. Eight to ten. Yeah. Oh, God. It's good when you're just doing straight. That's one side done. Now if you think about the helium, I just wanted to see. We haven't touched anything really around this part here, just a very section, but we took this corner in a bit. Now if you look the way that's balancing out now a little bit, see that's starting to bear, sort of kind of curve out slightly and round off. By just taking that section down like we did last time, it's starting to really start to balance that side out now as well. We're not removing too much length, so we're still keeping the majority of this length through here. So we can still keep growing this through. But taking a bit back, like we said the first time, taking it back slightly, especially in problem areas, actually help it grow better. So again, we're doing the same thing here. This is starting to sit nicely, this will balance in nicely and be connected. And just give a fresher look to something that is growing up. So I'm going to dry this through and then just start on the clip of work now as well. So how long uh, do you think you're going to go? Um, can you see yourself going much longer? I see where it goes, Yeah. but because I, I, I definitely normally have a point, but yeah. I think there'll be a point in coming up to summer I'll want to not chop it all off but get yeah. back to like my yeah. original, original Do you know what really cool as well, you know if you get to that point of the length, you could always go nice and tight on the sides as well. You yeah. know when you've grown that top out and you've got that really nice shape in it, you like, there's nothing stopping you from going short on the back and sides. Because once yeah. you can balance the top in, so it doesn't matter because you know we, we're, we're kind of growing out bits through the middle here as well, you know from like the last cut when it was really quite short. In, across the top of the hair, mm -hmm. across the top of the head, sorry. You could get to that point in summer, even if you want to keep a lot of length, you just take the back and side super tight. We'd have that really nice balance of blend through the sides. Yeah, that would look cool. Yeah. Give you options though, you know, no, can no, I no. give some good options as well? It's good you know, to have options. You want to keep that length? Yeah. So, we're going to take it down to a one. Now the reason why I chose the one is I think there's the skin fade that we did last time, like what we call it a temple fade or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just think with the length being in there now, it, it would be too much. It would kind of almost like the angle would come out like, like that, almost because they're trying to keep that length through the side. I just don't think the area of blend would kind of work at the moment. If you take it longer, that would work cool because you can kind of separate the side bend and do it that way. Um, but I think coming down to a one, and maybe obviously around the neckline we can go a bit shorter, just around the very bottom. But I think that one won't be as harsh, and especially because he's getting used to length through here. We don't want to almost kind of make it look a bit too extreme. But again, from a distance, if you go to a zero on this side here, from a distance it'll look like he has no sideburn. So I think if we do a one, it's probably just a little bit more of a softer finish, but still that super sharp kind of look as well. So I'm going in with my uh, one and a half. 
just looking at the weaker points here. I'm just going to start in. Just use the corner, just the detail. Here like that. Yep. Now, for the neck, I'm going to start, I'm going to finish at a point of maybe just where the bottom of his ear is, just about there, because this way I can start to use his head shape to get that nice blend through it as well. So, that's him. I'm more than putting a line in, I want to try and just use this, this motion to blend as well, so it's not going to be too sharp, too harsh. And down to my one. Clipping through a little bit lower as well. Then I'm going, if you look at the angle of my clipper as well, I'm moving the direction as well, so I'm kind of coming in at an angle. That's because I'm going against the way the hair grows, and it's, as you can see, it goes down and then across, slightly down here as well. So I'm just removing length, so I'm going against the way the hair grows. And you shall see, so he's got this really nice kind of. So it almost grows backwards a little bit. I think it's really cool. Especially when you get a bit of product in there, that'll work really nice as well. So this, by being shorter, will kind of almost emphasise that as well. Now, on the neck, I'm going to put a line in with the zero on this, purely for symmetry. So, if you look at that, it's neckline sort of comes down to about there, but then it kind of goes quite strong to there, and then almost like that. So it's sort of that length. Then up there, then comes down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the common ground, which I reckon is about here, and just put a nice line in there, which I'm going to blend out. But it just gives me my, my taper symmetry to it. We should move the rest of that length as well. Now I'm going to blend that out, just using the open guard, and just blend this line out. Just a very short blend, very narrow, just to get rid of that line. And then work down, just using the lever, just move it down ever so slightly, just to work out on that blend. Are you happy? Are you now I'm going to blend this in now, using my clipper comb. Clipper comb goes down to, say, press hard enough, it goes to one. Resting it slightly on the scalp goes to one and a half. So, again, like we spoke about in the past videos, I use different combs for different lengths. This is perfect for this one. So, I'm working through. So, I'm going to start on the back here. I'm just going to put it in at the point of reference there. I'm just going to work up. So, I'm not looking to remove too much length through there. I'm just looking for that nice taper. I'm going to press it a little bit harder as we get through there. Just to create that nice little air. Uh, Nice little lower blend. I'm going to put them in my half. Just work up and off. If you look at the angle of my comb, I'm looking to come up and off like that to follow the head shape. Then the side down. Just repeat what we've just done. So I'm going to tidy it around the ear, just take off any of the long hair that's coming over. Take it to my open zero, so a 0.5, which gives a bit of a softer blend. Come back to my close zero. And just tidy it up, just to expose a little bit more strength in the hairline. So now I'm going to move on to the minis to really sharpen off the hairline and just get this is where it'll give that look that super like fresh haircut look that super clean finish and just a bit more refinement through here and I'll switch on to combs now so this comb does sort of a number two and upwards so this is what I use for my scissor over comb but again we're going into a longer length so I want to use something that's a little bit longer it seems to pick up the hair a little bit easier as well You see automatically just by doing that, it starts to get that really fresh look to it as well. So I'm not trying to cut too much into the hairline, I'm just trying to sharpen off. 
Here's uh, this temple area here, and there's the side lane as well. So just a little white baby hairs. We're going to start to get that really nice sharp effect to there as well. Now that is starting to really look as so though he's had a fresh haircut and not took anything off the hair as well. Right, so we're showing you a bit of refinement now as well. Head down for me. Trying to fall asleep, Toby. Yep. <laughs> Did you do those off then? No, no, no. There's something about getting the haircut, it just makes you feel so sleepy. <laughs> It's just the constant buzz. It's the it's the it's the it's the sort of the yeah it's that noise the consistency yeah. of that noise yeah and obviously my my nice touch as well obviously of course, Toby, you know what um, I mean. Mate? Um. Right, so that's the back and sides done. The taper. And now I'm gonna connect in the top if it needs connecting. It might not be, but well, if it doesn't, I'll start to thin it out. I'll just double check and then I'll start taking down that corner of the fringe that's just starting to kind of get in the way really and almost ruin this look that's growing out so nicely. So let's just bring this back. Basically the way Toby's going to wear it, I just want to see how it's starting to sit. It's actually not sitting too badly through that corner there. Well, I might just connect it in just slightly, just make sure. But then what I'll do is I'll work in this section here to match up to the crown because again, probably going to be still quite long really and just a bit too long for what we're looking for but again this fringe here we left a lot of the fringe last time but i just think we can get away with taking these corners down it's a bit too much of an overhang i think now now we're getting that more length it's starting we're starting to be able to balance this top into these sides now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to section through the top just to split the the top of the head in half, really, and work one side to the other. Take it back to the old school, curtains. <laughs> and just cut this off here. So this is what we call a T section, because again, it looks like the letter T. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this crown first. So I'm gonna work in vertical sections from this bit here. So as you can see, if you look at this, we start to see that short here where we've dried it off. The wetter here starts to show, show off where it starts to over, sort of overhang, should we say. Yeah. So I'll pick it up from this corner, and then you'll see just that little guideline there that I'm going to follow. We should do very short sections through this crown, but again, keeping it nice and straight, creating that squareness that we want to go for in the crown. And this way you'll start to see the length coming off. There we go, that's the bit I was worried about. There we go, that's good. I'm happy that is a... Uh, that is too long because I was I knew it would be too long. Now we just connect it into my guide underneath. So as you can see, there's a guide from the top, and this bit I was talking about before looks a bit too heavy. So it actually was. So I'm happy about that. And then just here, on the side. And well, that will be a nice connection in that length through there. Now I'm going to work side to side now. I'm just going to bring this down in the section in the middle. And I'm going to start connecting this just a touch lower now. So you can see there's not much that will come through my fingers. It's just more of a connection point. Just that bit there. This bit is just going to get into the side where we've gone a touch shorter. By bringing it down and preserving a lot more length through the top. Again, there's not much to come off. Again, that's all I was looking for. I don't want to take too much off. Now here's where the problem area will come in now, and you'll see a little bit more will come through my fingers. And then I'll just cross check and work back to my guide at the back. I always just go over it just in case. There we go. And now that is to maintain the length of this, it's starting to sit and balance nicely through there. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So again, this is just very minimal. Uh, actually doing this on the top now, it's, very, it's sort of just a very minimal tidy up really, just to, it, it's mainly just connecting the, the top to the sides, because we are trying to grow that length out on the top. So everything we've saw before is uh, we're trying to stick to here, so looking at problem areas and just connecting through the top. 
And here's that problem area we were looking at before, just on this corner. You just see a lot more will come through. There we go. Let me take that down. Just bring that back. It's starting to flow really nicely into them vertical sections that have took that length through there. Now. now the last thing we need to do now, in terms of removing length, is we look at the fringe. So I'm looking at this problem area here. I don't want that to overhang too much because it will just get so annoying. It will just start falling after a while. So I'm just going to take that down a touch. Again, this is something that Toby will really notice, but I will. Now we're going to do connection. So as you can see, if I pull this over, I'm over directing the middle of the fringe into my fingers here. And by over directing, you'll see what I mean. It starts to get shorter there. So that corner here, we can take off. But it's, it's just need to be there. But I'm going to point cut into it. So resting on my uh, third finger, I'm just going to cut into that. So it isn't too perfect. So it falls a little bit nicer. And that will fall nicely and flow nicely into that corner there. So as you can see, that shape's starting to sit nice down. We're not getting too much drop in this corner now, as you can see. So that'll just help him as the haircut grows to not be too much of a problem area again. So we're just starting to create a bit more shape and we haven't touched anything off the top. So now he wants to thin it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry it off and I'm going to thin it out when it's dry. Never, it's never worth doing when it's wet because you can't really feel where the thickness is. Try a little bit of salt spraying for you, so we can see exactly how this is going to sit. I'm going to use my fingers to dry it through. Well, as you see from the previous haircut, there's a lot more movement, a lot more flow in this now, with a lot more length. This is so much easier. When you get to another couple of weeks' time, it'll, it'll probably just fall into place that you haven't seen too much to it. So. I'm using the nozzle and the heat to direct this back. My fingers are just going to dry the hair as it comes through. It's just going to help me sort of um, just dry it off really and just create that little bit of shape and that look. The other day, um, I had a client in the chair who's uh, he's an actual stand-up comedian, and he was asking me, he said he had he done a he done a joke once about hairdressers, and he said, don't you hate it when hairdressers start doing all this? The hair dryer, why do we do it? What's that all about? Can you imagine being made fanboy and stuff? So I kind of um, I just told him straight, like basically it's because if I didn't do that, I'd burn him. So I, what I did was I, I said to him, like, oh, I won't do that. I'll just hold the hairdryer on you. So I just went, like that, and he went, ah, ah. I said, now you'll, you'll stop taking the mic, because that, that is why we do it. I know it looks a little bit like as though you're trying to be very creative, but it's actually genuinely so I don't burn the client. So there we go. Now, I'm going to start feeling for the thickness now. So what we do is you run your fingers to your hair, and you just pick it up, and you start to feel where that thickness is. So here, it's super thick. Through the middle, still feels quite thin. Like, well, not thin, but you know, not as thick as the back. So the fringe is all right. It's mainly through these corners here that are starting to feel, you can feel the thickness compared to the middle. And that's something you can do on your own hair as well. All you do is you literally just run your fingers up to the, literally to the root, to the base of the hair, and just grab it and you'll just feel that thickness. And you'll feel different areas through your hair that isn't. So until you do it, you'll, you'll know what I mean. Give it a go. And that will you know where you need to thin out or where you want to ask to get thinned out. So what we do, just going to pick it up in sections. I'm going to work from, because his hair's coming back, it's going to be easier for me to lower his head down and cut it in the direction it's going. I'm just going to pick it up, just through here. Nice, sort of medium to, to sort of thicker sections. And just at the very end, I'm just going to cut into it a little bit. Then I'm going to work again to another thicker area. Cut into it. Now this is purely for thickness. And as you can see, there's some hair coming out. So this is another reason why I don't tend to use thinners, is because I can sort of pick and choose where I want it to be. I can just break it up. And I can also still see it's going to sit back as well. There you go, my thickness is coming out. So it's much better. Now again, this side here. Get to a point where 
I'm just cutting down to the base of my finger. No, I think that's all we need to do in terms of thinning out. Just have a feel yourself, Toby. I'll just feel how that seems to you. Yeah, it's definitely not good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you see that shape sitting there really nice, you know, as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's cool, isn't it? And you see by just taking that bit of the fringe shorter, we haven't got that massive overhang, so the shape's oh, starting sure. to sit a little bit easier for you now as well. Yeah. Cool? Happy? Happy. Yeah? Good? Mm -hmm. Nice, fine. So, what I'll do is I'll just recap for you what I did. So, we section the top off into the U-shape, uh, partly just so I can concentrate purely on the back and sides. We took this area here, just below the crown and above the occipital bone, it tends to be the thickest point on most guys here. So just want to cut shorter, just because the last haircut we tried to leave length in it, it was quite short here, quite long on the side. So I just thought today we can take that a bit shorter, create a bit more shape in there. Um, cut the corner, cut this um, through here, the corners here, I cut them a little bit, tiny bit shorter, just to balance everything up. Uh, and then we went on to the one on the sideburns and the neck, just to taper that out. Give that real fresh, kind of clean look. Then through the side, through the top when we were connecting in, we just slightly connected it through, keeping the blend low. Because again, we're trying to reserve length through here. Get the blend quite low, just horizontal sections through here, and then vertical sections through the crown, just to blend in, with that little bit of extra length out. And then looked at the problem areas, it was fringe, which are these corners. The reason why, we sectioned the fringe off last time, so these are going to go out, we didn't actually touch the fringe last time, because we needed to get that real shape in there. So obviously they're going to go out a little bit longer than everywhere else, because it was disconnected from the sides. So, we just put that in, and just added the shape, and then i just done a little bit of sort of freehand thinning, just in the areas that felt too thick. And then that's your finish look. A little bit of salt spray and um, blow dry in there. And that's it. You don't have to put anything else in if you don't want to. You can always add a bit more product if you like. Yeah. But I think the ease of the, 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 the simplicity of this look is, is kind of all you need salt spray. So happy with that, yeah? Mm-hmm. Too much. So Dan, I think I think an interesting thing you asked about was um, what he did what he did and didn't like about his cut. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about so for any guys who are maybe scared to tell their barber what they didn't like about the cut? Because they did it before. What, yeah. what advice would you give? Um, I imagine there's quite a few guys out there who probably don't want to. Tell oh yeah, to tell well, I mean, the British we don't like to complain, do we? So, um, I think I think you just have to just be honest because the only way I'm going to learn, the only way I'm going to grow as a barber is, and with the the, um, the the relationship with with my clients is that I need to know whether he likes certain things that I do. So obviously he likes what you do because he's come back. So that's your reassurance is all right there. But it's always nice to hear negative feedback because it's so easy for everyone to say, oh, you've done a great job, that's great. And you know, we, we get instant satisfaction from that as a barber. That's why we, that's why we love our job. But it's always nice to hear the things that we haven't done. Maybe we've done it right technically, but they didn't like it. And ultimately, you're paying, they've got to be happy as well. So with it, obviously within reason, with what we can do. But I think the best thing to do is just be totally honest, if, if you can. Um, you'll never get anywhere if you don't. And if you if there's something that you wasn't happy about, you have to explain what it was. And you don't have to go away, you don't have to go out about it in an aggressive way. You can just say, look, you know, can I have a chat with you? Um, what what you know? I found this bit was a bit hard to stand up. This bit was there. But, you know, this bit was a bit too long. And do you know what? Nine times out of ten, there's a reason for that. Again, Toby could have come in today and said this fringe was, was getting on my nerves. It was too long here. It's too this. I went, okay, yeah, totally understand. Thanks for your feedback. This is the reason why. And I think if you can, you can explain the reasons why it was either too long or too thick or too short or whatever then the client will feel ultimately happy that there was a reason behind it. Now, if you've got no reason and you don't know how, then obviously they're going to be unhappy. But I reckon a lot of barbers will do the, do something for a specific reason, because otherwise you don't want to get start getting negative feedback. So, again, advice, man, I think you've just got to be, you've got to be open and honest. And, you know, if you, try, you want to build a relationship with your barber, you want to get the best out of that relationship, you've got to be honest with them. So, I'd say that's my, my advice. So that is like the sort of, uh, just a longer version of what we did last time. It's got a really nice shape to it, hasn't it? And that is literally just a bit of heat and a bit of soft spray and obviously just tied up the edges, but... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All that shape getting through there. It's nice one, isn't it? But I do think definitely, I think keeping it to that one was a good idea because if you could have something... You're going too short, it looks a bit almost away. like a toupee kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have just looked like, like especially from a distance, because your hair is so dark, sure. you see that scalp, it would just look like you've had something placed on your head, you know? It is, yeah. So, no, I like it, yeah, I made up. So should we, um, do, you want, do you want to come back again and like, again, like, for five yeah. weeks or something? Yeah, and then we'll, and we'll just... But well, whenever, do you know what, man? Whenever you feel like you need to, it's getting on your nerves. Because that way we can, we can, we can, yeah. we can tell me the problem areas. Yeah. Because so by the time 
three, four weeks comes, it will be in a really nice place, I think. Yeah, I do, I do, so, I really do, you know. Yeah, I can't you, wait to you see the seem food. more excited than I do. <laughs> I love it, I love it, it's like a little work of art, I love it. It's great, it's like, it's like a little painting that I'm kind of picturing, that's I've cool. got in my head, that's going to look like. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So, great. yeah, cool, man. And if, you know, if we get to that point when you want to go a bit shorter, we can always do that. If you get to that length and you like the top, yeah. but the sides are, are, are kind of, you know, become a bit of a struggle. We can take the side short if you like, but we've got that length on the top we can play around with then. Sure. Well. That's like the basis and then you can just play yeah, around with it. Yeah, that's it, exactly. You can go like, you know, you could experiment blow drying it a bit higher, maybe getting that kind of pump door at the fringe, that kind of high mm -hmm. round fringe, look quite nice. You know, if you, if you want to mix it up a little bit, you've got a lot more uh, a lot more to do then. I mean, you can, you can mix it up on the weekends or going out or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. Come on, sweet. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.